वेलकम माय नेम इज रंजना जैन आई वर्क एज एन आईटी प्रो इवेंजलिस्ट विद माइक्रोसॉफ्ट इंडिया इन माय रोल एज एन आईटी प्रो इवेंजलिस्ट आई स्पेशलाइज इन द कोर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर टेक्नोलॉजीज फॉर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट स्पेशली विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स द सिक्योरिटी इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड द सिक्योरिटी प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट विंडोज पावर शेल आई ट्रस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू इज आईटी एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स मस्ट हैव हर्ड ऑफ विंडोज पावर शेल बाय नाउ Windows PowerShell is actually a good news for administrators. You don't need to be friends with your scripting uh, uh, with the scripting guys anymore. So we don't need the scripting guy anymore. Now that we are all as administrators able to script ourselves with Windows PowerShell, what we what we needed initially with Windows was a tool with which we could automate these set of steps that could be executed on multiple servers. So if you've got different servers placed at different locations, if you've got multiple set of servers on which these settings need to be replicated, or win- multiple Windows computers on which the same set of steps need to be taken, we wish these tasks to be automated. So in that case, we are really dependent upon our VB script ad, VB script uh, uh, scripters and our uh, coding friends in order to make sure that they are able to create scripts for us which can automate these tasks for us, and we can run those scripts on the distantly located servers and on multiple computers but the good news is that with windows powershell we don't have to be dependent on them anymore so as i always say and i have an impression of windows administrators being pretty lazy and they would like to work from one room at from from one single place we like to centralize everything and automate everything windows powershell introduces a new powerful shell that actually lets me script each and every action i take using the windows gui So if I'm choosing a certain option in DNS settings, if I'm choosing a certain option in the Active Directory installation, I can automate all these things and write a command, easy command to actually execute the same step in Windows PowerShell. In fact, the new set of uh, products that, is, that that's come from Microsoft from Windows Vista to Windows Server 2008, Windows 7, Windows Server 2008 R2, Exchange 2007, Exchange 2010, Office 2010 corporate suite of pro- security products a system center suite of management products all these products are basically written in windows powershell so it is not only important for us as administrators to learn windows powershell it is going to be becoming increasingly important for us to be able to script and automate our tasks using windows powershell so with windows powershell you don't have to really learn to write a scripting language you don't have to be proficient in uh, writing uh, c++ or uh, vc++ or vb scripting or java scripting anymore you don't have to learn all that all that you need to be knowing is english it is so intuitive and easy to use that in order to get the status on a particular service in windows powershell i just have to use a small command as good as get service and the service name So every command in Windows PowerShell is just a simple combination of a verb and a noun. So in order to get or get the status of all the processes running into my system, I simply have to give an English command like get process, get hyphen process. You can see that the moment you open a PowerShell script, you see that every each and every piece of code and the command is what you can easily comprehend this command would actually be doing in order to open a window. So in each Initially we used to have to learn how each and every uh, activity could be automated using VB script. We didn't actually have a command that could replicate whatever actions we are taking in the GUI into the command format, but with Windows PowerShell I can e- actually replicate each and every action that I take on the GUI console into a script. So I don't have to learn the format of CMD shell anymore because I didn't actually like it because it wasn't that interactive and even the help it used to give me wasn't really very useful but with powershell in order to get help you just have to give a command get help and it gives you complete set of tools that gives you not only explanative examples and usage it gives you even explanations and the sample results of what each and every option would do for you in a particular command I used to be actually uh, I used to be actually apprehensive about using uh, command line features of Windows earlier because I did not really find the CMD shell to be really uh, user friendly and interactive because uh, even if I did not know a command first I to, I had to learn a proper format in which to use the command I had to know all the options 
uh, with which the command could be used and even if it, if i had problems with executing a command the help that i used to get on the cmd shell was not that intu intuitive and laborative but with windows powershell all that you need to get the help on a particular command is get help and the, that particular command and the kind of help windows powershell gives to the administrators is so elaborative and full of examples it not only gives me the various formats and options with which I, which can be used with the command it also gives me precise information on what kind of results i can expect after i use a particular set of options with that particular command so i can use the help using help command i can use the i can call for help using get help command i can even call call for help using man command to get the contents of my current directory i can issue the dir command i can issue the get child item command i can even issue the ls command the windows powershell goes beyond uh, your linux bash shell or perl or cgi scripting to give you the power of dotnet framework the dotnet framework gives us the power of the uh, object oriented programming language by this what i mean is that dotnet gives us the power of usage of classes so each and every result that i get as a part of execution of a command in windows powershell is nothing but an object of a class by that what i mean is i can actually capture the results of a command in an object or in a variable by saying um, by saying dollar i equal to get process now when i say dollar i equal to get process dollar i variable is going to automatically contain the results of get process command or i can say get process notepad and now i have in dollar i now what i have is an object of a class notepad now you know when we create an object of a class what all can i do with that object i can actually call all the methods and the properties of that particular class using that object all that i have to that i have i need to do is dollar i dot and i can call all the properties like working set cpu usage processor uh, process id and process name etc and i can call functions like end process kill process etc or wait for execution etc all these processes for that particular particular uh, for, for that particular process so this is the kind of power that uh, that powershell gives us not only that if i have even if i know vb scripting or i know certain kind of other scripting languages i can even do uh, sets of com scriptings over here it even lets me uh, access the wmi information from my computer it even lets me execute uh, uh, execute commands that can uh, that can actually create uh, components of windows for me and can issue remote commands it can uh, powershell 2.0 comes with enhancements that let me remote uh, remotely log into another windows computer in a secure fashion and issue interactive commands on that remote computer may it be uh, may it be windows server 2008 or windows or windows vista or uh, uh, windows 7 provided it is capable of running powershell to give you even a better look and feel as to not be working in a cmd shell we even created a gui for you in uh, windows powershell that is called as the uh, powershell iac or powershell integrated scripting environment so it gives you three panes one in which you can write the commands one which gives you the results and the one in which an automated script gets created out of each and each and every command that you're giving so you just open the notepad write all the commands of powershell one by one save it as a .ps1 file and you've got a powershell script ready to go and automate it